all right everybody welcome to your ninth angular js tutorial and welcome to the controllers tutorial and controllers as we have been discussing so far are kind of interesting thing in angular and controllers actually makes up your application in angular js so what are controllers exactly now controllers are nothing more than traditional javascript objects created with angular js so from our javascript tutorial we know that a simple object is a object literal created with like my object is this thing and if we do like console log type of my object then it would obviously return um, object without any doubt but angular js controllers actually control the data of your application you have written in javascript with angular js so you may wonder that somewhere we need to attach this controller to the html as well well yes for that we have got an angular js directive called ng controller now ng controller gives a unique name to a part of your HTML way through which you um, actually make use of the MVC model of Angular JS. And let's take a quick look at what controllers are and how they work. So to create a basic controller, what we will do is is um, okay. So let's code the HTML first, and let's say I create a div with ng controller as I told you we need to assign this a controller to work with JavaScript and a little bit of spacing here let's say in the ng controller I give um, what do you say um, let's say languages so here what we would write is let's say select your favorite f a v o u r i t e wow favorite language l a n wow what is happening today okay so select your favorite languages or maybe just one language and let's say button um and let's say PHP then button um, JavaScript button C++ button Java and the list continues so we have got a bunch of languages here and down here let's create um, you have selected and uh, let's say uh, my favorite language now many of you would complain that I haven't uh, used this kind of variable with ng in it anywhere in the code and that's the reason I was telling you that we don't need ng in it very much while you're coding angular so let's make this uh, on the browser so it looks like kind of doing nothing right now and let's add some controllers to it okay so controllers how we code a controller in angular js is just like creating a variable in javascript let's say application and this should be equal to angular dot module uh, m o d u l e l e now angular is something which comes this object comes from this file here so don't ask any question that I haven't declared anything like angular and its property module it all comes from this JavaScript file loaded by our script tag here so angular dot module what this module actually means is uh, it would take another tutorial to explain what module is but simply explaining that it kind of creates a module of your application which you are working with 
and don't worry we'll be discussing about angular modules soon but let's focus on controllers for now and in module we have to give whatever the name of our app is and currently it's set to blank so let's give it a name let's say my language app and the same name should be here in the module and one more thing you have to do as a second argument you have to give a blank array and this is because in here you would load the dependencies of your module so when we are coding uh, like in the 30th or 40th tutorial of angular js then we will be using or uh, make use of this um, dependencies and what it would do is like let's say you have is separate script tag which contains some of your other modules which you have created in angular and you want to basically get all of the properties and whatever you did in that module into this module so we can basically do that by writing like my module here the name of your module but currently since we don't need any module loaded with our angular js application we'll just set this array to blank now we have application as an object and if you do a type of application you'll get object as logged in so no need to do that and now we'll define a controller of this application so let's type application dot controller c o n t r o l l e r and controller would accept the argument and the name which we supplied here so languages is our controller and languages it is so similarly we would pass another you can say a function or directly a array now I'll be using array and the reason is that in the first value it would take something called scope now let me write the code first and then I'll explain you what the scope is so yeah looks good so this scope a dollar sign and a scope is inbuilt variable of angular and we have to use that and the reason why I am using a scope here and a scope here as well and not directly like this thing is that whenever you are uh, working on um, production sites then you usually compress your JavaScript code with uh, softwares available on online and what the softwares do is that they compress and rename all the variables to some different values so what happens is angular is always looking for a argument with a variable scope now let's say your javascript compressor renames this variable to something like this to attackers so that attackers uh, it is hard to debug for the attackers so now your angular js itself doesn't know what the heck this means but if you have supplied a argument here with scope in quotes obviously your compressor won't change this value so angular would automatically understand that you are referring scope here so as long as you are not going to compress your code in angular you could use this without any square brackets or anything else so there's an anonymous function scope and this controller attaches all the code here to everything inside this controller so now we have access to whatever we were setting before with ng in it so let's say I write scope dot my favorite language equals you have selected for default I would like to have none so now here on this button I would like something to happen whenever this button or this button or this button is clicked so so far we have what have we have been doing is we have been attaching JavaScript handler on click JavaScript alert like that but with angular angular has got its own event handlers and we have got ng click 
Now this ng click would kind of run your JavaScript code whenever this button is clicked. And since this is an Angular directive, it would work, work, uh, first work on MVC model and would go into your controller, look for anything available and similarly execute the code. So let's say I give it a function PHP which we'll be declaring here and to this button let's just uh, break this down a code a little bit so it's easier to read. Alright so now in the JavaScript one let's say I give ng click as JavaScript now notice that these are functions because I'm using parentheses to call them ng click C++ and finally ng click should be Java alright so we have got we have defined some of the functions here and application controller is at the first one setting the scope of my favorite language to none and what does that mean is I'll show you let's reload this page and okay so let's take a look here um, in the console we have got alright so there's a typo here a n g u l a r it should be let's reload this okay so I guess I kept them with my code and let's reload this now and we have got none here so we have got some ng click event handlers here but nothing defined here so let's do something here so let's say scope dot and starting with PHP since it's a function let's say whenever this is called then scope dot my favorite language should be modified to PHP and similarly let's just copy and paste this over and over for JavaScript C++ and Java so for whoa wait a sec this should be Java and this should be C++ so this is C++ this is JavaScript and this is Java so what we expect expect now is that when I run it in the browser then by default I have got you have selected none but whenever I click on these you see that the data is automatically modified on the basis of my click and let me explain this code again from the starting we have created a controller with div ng controller languages written some basic HTML attached a event handler of ng click which is an angular click directive to every button created a controller uh, created a module first application angular module my languages app and set the dependencies to empty application defined a controller languages same as here and supplied it with a function scope to get and access the view of the MVC model then we are setting scope dot my favorite languages to none at the starting then we are modifying this to uh, some other values whenever a particular function of this ng click directive here is called and that's it that's pretty much what our application is doing so that was a very basic and simple example of controllers in angular js and i welcome you all to AngularJS from this tutorial. So that's it for this tutorial in controllers and we'll be working with controllers a lot harder and pro way in future tutorials. So still then stay tuned with me. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you then.